Most enterprises are looking at ways to reduce cost and improve time to service. Most also are looking for ways to improve the operational efficiency of the data center. Wouldn't it be nice if you could deploy a new application across multiple data centers in an instant? Wouldn't it be nice if we could allow IT the ability to simply say yes when there's a new application or service needing to be deployed on the network? Hello, I'm Dan DeBeck, Director of Data Solutions Architecture here at Avaya. And I'd like to take a few minutes to talk about our exciting new strategy that will not only answer these questions, but will also simplify the network moving forward. Avaya's virtual enterprise network architecture, Avaya Vena, is our virtualization strategy for the next generation enterprise data networks. It is the infrastructure that will allow enterprises to build the private cloud, and an architecture that is easily extensible from the data center to the campus and beyond. We believe enterprise customers will see an immediate benefit by creating a virtualized data center backbone, making operations more efficient and allowing a better and tighter integration between application and network virtualization. So what is Avaya Vena? Avaya Vena is an architecture that is comprised of four major elements. First, network virtualization software capabilities in the form of IEEE shortest path bridging that enables the virtual services fabric. Second, Next generation Ethernet switching hardware, the Avaya Virtual Services Platform 9000, our next generation core and data center switch. Third, the Avaya Ethernet routing switch 8800 and 8600 that, with a simple software upgrade, can enable the virtual services fabric. This continues a tradition of investment protection for our customers. Avaya's unique, fully programmable packet processor technology eliminates the need for a rip and replace of hardware. And finally, the fourth and arguably the most important component is Avaya's industry-leading suite of unified management tools. Network management will allow you to easily configure, monitor, and troubleshoot the virtualized environment. Not to mention also automating the network configuration aspect of workload mobility. Everyone needs to do more with less, and having the right tools for the job is key to making that happen. The Avaya Virtual Enterprise Network Architecture is empowered by its ability to integrate multiple different types of networks running across the virtual services fabric. These virtual service networks could be anything from business applications to unified communications, next generation collaboration, storage computing, or some disruptive technology that doesn't yet exist but will have to be dealt with in the future. These virtual networks can be created in seconds with single touch provisioning we're able to build, create, and configure the network core one time and never have to touch it again. This reduces the human error factor and makes it very easy and very quick from a time to service standpoint. The next generation of network virtualization will make networks much more dynamic than they are today. You will create the infrastructure once and simply enable networks at the edge without the need to continually make modifications to the core. These virtual service networks can be transparently extended within a data center or between data centers. From a layer two perspective, this is required for workload mobility, also known as virtual machine mobility. Avaya has added some critical enhancements to the IEEE shortest path bridging technology to make it more enterprise user friendly. We've added functionality for dual homing on the user side, routing between virtual service networks, and extending VRS natively across the shortest path bridging network. These Layer 3 enhancements have been submitted as IETF drafts to maintain our open standards approach to networking. A critical factor in Avaya's Vena is the manner in which the network will migrate from where it is today into this truly dynamic infrastructure of the future. The virtual services fabric can be enabled in parallel with all other protocols presently in use on the network. No need to change physical connections or existing configurations. You can simply migrate services into the fabric at your pace in the most non-disruptive manner possible. Let's look at a simple example to better understand the value and simplicity of the solution. In this scenario, we have two data centers and a need to deploy a human resources application. The servers will be installed in each data center for resiliency. We need to extend the same layer two domain between data centers for workload mobility. And since this is an HR application, it must be segregated from the network for security purposes. Though this can be accomplished in today's typical network topology, it's not quick and it's not easy. There are many touch points for network configuration. However, once the network is fabric enabled, 
there are only four simple point and clicks at the fabric edge where the servers are connected. There's no need to configure the network on the uplinks or between the cores. This new virtual service network can be configured and enabled within seconds without a worry about having to change the core or any of the networks between the core switches. This provides unmatched simplicity for enabling dynamic networks throughout the infrastructure. With the virtual enterprise network architecture, Avaya is improving network uptime by delivering the infrastructure that creates the private cloud and nearly eliminates user and error network outages. We're reducing the time to service with simple one-touch provisioning, and we're improving the data center efficiency with a tighter integration between applications and network virtualization. We are reliably connecting users and content with the lowest total cost of ownership in the industry. With an Avaya data network, you get more IT work for every dollar spent. If you'd like to learn more, I encourage you to visit www.avaya.com slash FINA. You can also contact Avaya or an authorized business partner for more information. Thank you for your time and attention.